welcome to Armus, everyone. Today we have a hard barrier penetration test comparing the 38 Special to the 380 ACP. Quick disclaimer, please be advised for any younger or inexperienced viewer concerning firearms. These two calibers are not optimal for bear defense and may even endanger a person and minimize their chances for survival during an encounter. However, with that being said, a family member asked me to conduct this penetration test and I gave in to my curiosity on how these two micro firearms would fare in comparison to our standard handgun calibers using hard cast ammunition. I know that barrel lengths and ammunition are not comparable, but these are the only two firearms in these calibers I own, and this is the ammunition I have for them at this time. Nevertheless, I thought it would make for a fun and interesting video. With no further ado, we'll see you all at the range. Before heading out to the range, I would like to give a big shout out to Carol and Vincent's Rifle Range for sponsoring our membership and providing us with an exceptional opportunity to film our videos in a safe and friendly environment. See you all at the range. Welcome to Armas everyone. Today we have the hard barrier penetration test comparing the 38 Special to the 380 ACP. Behind me we have the LVL boards which are stronger, denser and more uniform than pine. Up first, we have the Cold Cobra Bright Stainless in a two inch barrel. For the ammo that we'll be using is 158 grain Keith type hard cast, also from Underwood Ammo. So here we go, let's see how it does. Up next we have the 6 hour and that is a P238 in 380 ACP. The ammunition we'll be using is Underwood Ammo 100 grain flat nose hard cast ammunition. Let's see how it does. So I was 4 yards from the target and here on this side is a 38 special 158 grain and Keith style hard cast from Underwood Ammo. And here we have the 380 ACP, which is 100 grain uh, hard cast. So let's see how they did. So the 38 Special went through the first board. And you can see that it exited the first board. Let's check the second board. We see an entrance in the second board, right there, and let's see. And uh, no, we do not have any exit from the second board. Okay, so now the 380 ACP, and that's 100 grain hard cast ammunition from Underwood Ammo. So it went through the first board, and I don't think it exited from the first board. Let me see. Uh, we do see an indentation, and that's in the second board right there. So let's see how it fared. We're here in my backyard, and we're going to go ahead and recap. So the 38 Special 158 grain hard cast round went through the first board. You can see the entrance there, and there's an exit. On the second board, you can see that there's an entrance but there is no exit, but you can see that it did manage to crack the second board. Now, in reference to the 380 ACP 100 grain, and this is also a hard cast round, it went through the first board, there's the entrance, there's an exit, and let's see how it did in the second board. Now, it also went through the second LVO board, and I think I can see the round through there, but there is no exit or no cracking on the second board on the exit. Okay, so I'm gonna try to split this LVO board. Okay, so this is the 380, as you can see there. So wow, the 380 actually was almost on its way out. And this is of the second board, as you can see right there. And uh, it was pushing up on the exit there. And that's why you can see the cracking. So. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty good penetration. And this is the 158 grain 
out of the 38 Special Plus P, and these are Keith style bullets. Okay, and as we can see here, it actually fell out. So out of the second board, it's right there, pretty close to the halfway point, that's where it was lodged in. And this is the 380 ACP. And as you can see, it fits right there. And it went in pretty close to halfway point. So this is the second board. And uh, the 380 went through the first board, out the second, or I'm sorry, through the first board, exited the first board, and it went pretty close to halfway into the second board. So not too bad. Um, this is actually pretty close to the 40 caliber hard cast round that we tested. So not too bad for the 380. Wow, and this is the 38 Special, 158 Keith style, and that's a hard cast round right there, a hard cast bullet. So finally, just to recap here, the 38 Special went through the first board, penetrated into the second board, and lodged itself three-fourths of the way into the second board, which was almost on its way out. Now, on the other hand, the 380 ACP in a 100 grain hard cast went through the first board and penetrated halfway into the second board, which is pretty comparable to the 40 Smith & Wesson hardcast round that I tested a few months ago. So wow, overall, they didn't do too bad at all. And actually, I would say pretty good performance considering they are, you know, for what they are. Wow, interesting results. I really thought that the 380 ACP would only penetrate halfway into the first board but I was pleasantly surprised. It completely penetrated the first LVO board and was lodged halfway into the second board. The 38 Special also went through the first board and lodged itself three-fourths of the way into the second board. My friends, with that being said, if you venture into the great outdoors this summer, stay safe and stay armed. We'll see you next time.